do buckaroos. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't do buckaroos and I think are you? I have issues with my camera and I have finally got it set up and then I accidentally kicked it and then but it's still going. So anyways, um so I just found one today, uh Pack Train Double IPA from Big Sky Brewing. I haven't bought a lot from them in, in, in a while, but I thought I'd give it a shot since I just found it. Availability September, October, so Figure it just came out. It should be rather fresh. The aromas are nice, though. I have a nut taste yet. 8.7%, 85 IBUs, color is gold, available September, October. An extravaganza of hops and malts. Big Sky, uh, Big Sky Pack Train Double IPA is hopped with Oregon Nugget, Simcoe, and Cascade hops. Okay, that's interesting. Combined with crystal and pale malts, this double IPA has a hop bite that will reach out and touch you. But it has something else. Balance. Yep. It's a hoppy beer with lots of citrus, pine, and floral notes. This beer got backbone to it. So there you go. Let's give it a shot, huh? And it's a bright gold, kind of a slightly cloudy, almost a kind of a straw like color. A lot of lots of citrus on the nose, lots and lots of citrus. Uh, yes, <laughs> for those of you that know me, yeah, I'm feeling some tangerine notes, man. Um, tangerine and orange are very similar, I guess. I tend to say tangerine uh, for for certain for certain aromas and flavors when it's uh, I don't know, feels a little maybe feels a little bit different than orange, I guess. In this case, a little brighter, a little sweeter, maybe. Uh, the, 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 you do get those floral notes that they say as well. Hmm, very nice. I'm gonna take a drink. I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm entranced by the aromas. Oh yeah, uh, again, very, very herbal, very floral. Um, lots of pine. But lots and lots of citrus, but not in the, um, I'm not getting that fruit salad kind of citrus, <laughs> a tropical fruit that uh, most double IPAs seem to have these days. I'm getting kind of citrus in a different way. I'm getting grapefruit for sure. There's certainly some orange slash tangerine like notes. Uh, lots of fresh like grapefruit zest like notes as well. And you're probably going to find some other things, man. Everybody tastes things differently. Uh, the bottom line is, yeah, it was good. It was only um, it was only about nine a six pack for a great big uh, double IPA, so not bad at all. Mm. Relaxing out here on the patio, my wife and I. It's our anniversary today as I do this video. Kind of try to sneak out for the weekend after I got off work yesterday. We just kind of took off and not far from home, to be honest, about an hour from home, but far enough away from home to be away from home. Got us a little place, kind of secluded. Uh, it, it's just nice. The only drawback is, well, the internet sucks. <laughs> I tried to do a hangout with my buddy Todd in Indiana, and connection just wasn't strong enough. Kept, kept cutting in and out, so... Just do the videos on the on the webcam here, and I'll upload when I get home. Again, you know, you got to try not to stress over little stuff. And, and as irritating as it was, in the grand scheme of things, not being able to connect with, with a friend for a live video really is little stuff. I think there's some people that want to make big things out of little things, you know. You just need to cut those people free, man. Uh, some people like to start stuff, and then when you call them on it, then then, then they you know they, they call foul. You know, I mean, if you're if you're going to be an instigator, you're going to have to you know you need <laughs> you know you need to be able to take it when somebody calls you on your BS. Uh, my point being, just relax, man. Just take it easy. You know, my wife and I, it's it's been a road, man. We've been married 22 years. We lost our son to cancer three and a half years ago, April 23rd of 2013, and it's been difficult, man. It's, life is hard when you lose a child. Life is hard anyway. Losing a child is just, uh, well, in my opinion, the most difficult thing any parent can go through. So, you know, when somebody wants to get their knickers in a knot over something extremely tiny, you just need to cut those people go. 
cut those people loose, let those people go is what I meant to say. I'm mixing my metaphors, man. Mm. Uh, you know, I'm really surprised. Uh, Big Sky does some nice stuff. They've been kind of overlooked lately uh, by beer snobs. Um, I don't know that they do a lot over the top, but this is a very fine beer, actually. It is uh, one of the best double IPAs I've had in quite some time. It's nice. Uh, the first Big Sky beer I had was probably about 11 years ago. I know I had just turned 40. Um, and I found a six-pack of Moose Drool. And that was about the first one I'd had from them. And, and since then, I've, I've found other flavors. But, you know, at that that time, a lot of uh, craft beer wasn't available in my neck of the woods. And now it is. So uh, it seems like I don't really buy the products much or you don't really hear about it much, to be honest with you. They tend to get overlooked by the craft beer darlings, but they are doing some great stuff out there. They have been doing some great stuff out there for a long time. And this beer is just gorgeous. I mean, it, it, I, I think it works aromatically. You kind of get that musky kind of dank feel on the aroma. very dry at the finish um again uh, through the middle I'm, I'm kind of feeling some stone fruit now that i wasn't picking up earlier uh and specifically some apricot like notes certainly you, i'm getting some pine uh, mixed all the way in there again those citrus notes uh i um, Again, tangerine seems to be dominant for me. There's certainly some grapefruit in there, so there you go. Hey, I'm not going to run long. I just uh, reckon I already ran longer than I intended on. To be honest with you, sometimes I just like to talk, man. <laughs> I do. I like to kind of ramble on. That's why I kind of like <laughs> my videos are more like I'm just having a conversation in a pub. I'm pretending you're all answered back. I answer for you. I ask you questions. You talk back to me. Sometimes it's all in my knock. <laughs> Hey, I hope you all are having a good weekend. I'm Donna Bear Whisper, and we will talk to you later.